This year's citywide outstanding young woman is Joyce Yang. Joyce Young is the 2014 Outstanding Young Woman for the City of Phoenix. She's really an amazing person. She was recently awarded this honor at a banquet sponsored by Rotary 100 and Seroptimist International. I believe that this next generation is our future. Where high school students from all over the city competed. But today is another big day for Joyce. It's her last day at Desert Vista High School, a place where she has grown and excelled. During her high school career, she has continued her lifelong passion for music. She plays piano and violin in many different ensembles and has been recognized many times for her musical skill. Joyce also uses this passion to give back. When she was 13, she began recruiting other musicians to play at senior homes and Alzheimer care units. Since then, she has performed over 50 concerts for these special audiences. But Joyce's success isn't limited to one area. She is also one of the valedictorians of Desert Vista High School, along with her friend, Rajiv. She's really smart. She's one of the smartest people I know. And she's really dedicated to what she does. Uh, she, she she's been playing violin and piano for the last who knows how many years, and she spends a lot of time every day practicing them. So she just does a lot of different activities, and she's really good at everything she does. And all of Joyce's talent and hard work have not remained unnoticed, as she plans to attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, in the fall. She plans on pursuing a degree in neuroscience, because of her personal experience with those in need of medical care. My piano teacher, he had a hand injury which made him become a teacher instead of a concert pianist. It made me really think about musician injuries because I've been a musician almost my entire life. So it made me think about I really want to help these people. And then that combined with my quartet experiences at like Alzheimer's homes and things like that, it made me really realize that what I wanted to do is pursue neurology. But for now, Joyce prepares for her speech at tonight's graduation. We are here to finish this the way we started it, together. Even though she is a symbol of academic and personal success, she credits all of it to inspiration from others. I understand that I have a lot of accomplishments today, but I definitely couldn't have done it without all the people around me. I really think that what makes me special is the fact that I've gotten so much drive from those around me. I really want to help the people who have always been there in my life for me, and I just really want to give back to them. Reporting for No. 99, I'm Emily Mahoney.